Pelaburan semata-mata akan meningkatkan harga rumah. Menurut pengarah urusan Institut Penyelidikan Kazanah Datuk Syarul Mozani, selain meninggikan permintaan golongan ini akan turut menjual semula rumah dengan harga lebih tinggi demi meraih keuntungan. Beliau berkata fenomena harga rumah tidak mampu dimiliki harus ditangani dari peringkat dasar. Ini termasuk perubahan polisi serta penstrukturan semula proses pembinaan dan pembekalan rumah. Speculators. By speculators, I mean someone who buys a house with no intention to live in it or no intention to keep it for very long um, can drive up prices. One of our recommendations in here is that if we were to make the structural changes and come up with you know, cheaper houses which come up quickly, we should in the early years have a moratorium. In other words, if someone, you know, in return for getting a, cheap, uh, a more affordable house, um, the buyer says, I, I won't sell it for five years. Mm. Selain itu, beliau berkata bekalan rumah perlu kekal fleksibel dan responsif kepada pasaran. Ini bagi memastikan pembinaan rumah sentiasa sejajar dengan permintaan dan keperluan. If enough houses come up uh, at a low price, then we won't have to keep a moratorium. And there's no point speculating. If you know, I speculate by buying a house today, hoping to have sell it for a higher price tomorrow, because there are not enough houses. But if there's a steady supply of new houses coming out, um, then speculation, at least at that market level, um, um, will cease. Menurut laporan Making Housing Affordable, terbitan Hazanah Research Institute, rumah di Malaysia dikategorikan sebagai sangat tidak mampu dimiliki. Ini ekoran harga rumah 4.4 kali ganda purata pendapatan setahun berbanding kadar mampu milik, iaitu 3.3 kali ganda purata pendapatan setahun.